Hey guys, Utabultra here. Welcome back to the channel. Bringing you a new video of Star Wars Outlaws, playing this on my PC and 2024 LG 45-inch ultra-wide OLED. Now, continuing off from my last series of uh, play here. Now, I want to note something a little different here. I'm actually playing with the unlocked max settings. So, I'm going to bring the settings up here uh, just to walk through them. Uh, but again, this game is similar to Avatar Frontiers of Pandora in that it has uh, unlockable settings with a command line. Um, and this, it seems they call it the uh, outlaw settings. So again, it's insanely demanding, as you'll see even here in this full uh, this screen, I am playing with DLSS set to balance because of it. Now I want to note a few things about the channel, especially as I go through this. Uh, first and foremost, here, well, let me get the uh, this other menu up real quick. Now, if you're new to the channel, I make two versions of every video, a POV version and screen recorded version. Depending on the video you're watching right now, you can find the alternate video linked in the description. Also, there's a few ways to support the channel. Uh, if you're uh, curious, I do have a membership section here. Members of the channel get early access to this and many other of my videos, as well as being able to watch those videos without ads. I do have more uh, Star Wars content in there as, and coming up, including uh, as well as a Black Ops 6 beta gameplay. Now, along with that, another way to support the channel, especially if you're watching the POV video and are curious about anything in my setup, I have my entire setup, you know, lighting, keyboard, monitor, monitor arm, etc., and Amazon links in the description of the video. Now, if you do use those links, I get commissioned off them, but I do greatly appreciate it as it does support the channel directly. <laughs> well, that's a that's a way to start. Nice. <laughs> Anyways, so getting started here, like I said, playing with these new unlock settings, and yes, they are uh, they are very demanding. Now, I do... Dude, I, I almost get hit by my own speeder. That was weird. Alright, let's do this again. Don't Please don't run me over. Alright, here we go. Now, really enjoying this game. I mean, for what it is, right? It's I mean, it's, it's an Ubisoft open world at the end of the day. I'll be honest, as I play more of it, um, I know many reviews have talked about it. The, uh, the AI is... It, it's pretty dumb, so uh, and, you know that's just part of it. I, I, I feel like a lot of you know Ubisoft uh, open world games can be that way. Now we're gonna go ahead and do this. I gotta go to the, the smuggler's cache. Let's just go ahead and head over there. I want to progress and and just basically get off this planet so I have access to my ship. Now I will say the open world looks amazing, right? It really does. Now, it's kind of unfortunate, right, because you have things like the facial animations and just character interactions are, I mean, those are just really bad, unfortunately, but, you know, the environment detail and, you know, and just everything with how it looks, it's a lot like Avatar, right? Very, very impressive, you know, in terms of, you know, lighting and just everything here. Smuggler's cache over here. I'm surprised there's no one guarding this place. This is the location Dunk has sent me. Ooh, that capacitor. That was weird. It's dead. Yes, this is why I needed the ion mod. Oh, interesting. Well, I was. Do I have it equipped? There we go. Oh, I got us. I got a. I need to, I just realized I gotta fix my mouse a little bit later. The one of the buttons isn't go. working on here. Oh, I guess I'll just take these then. Interesting. I don't know what that is. Interesting. Got some interesting frame rate uh, button, issues here. I wonder why it's doing that. It's just an interior, but for some reason you walk in there and it's uh, it's really fluctuating. Okay, well I got what I needed to get. Do I have any other uh, missions? I, I have the vaults. Interesting. Is that implying that I actually have all of them? Alt key card. 
Mergona, which needs three key cards. I obviously need those. It's interesting. Do I, did I only need Mergona Pike Syndicate? This is very interesting. I, uh, I think I might be able to go get it. Which is pretty cool, actually, if I can. Oh, is that just the... It's possible to, to the vault room. Here, we're going to do a little bit of a side uh, journey here. I'm going to go ahead and fast travel to this point. I'm actually very curious if I can get into that vault. Yeah, the one I was thinking of was the Crimson Dawn Vault, because I'm getting those key cards. Alright, is what I'm tracking... That, I think it is. Obviously, they do not like me, so I can't get in. How did I get in last time? Love that it went from poor to just bad. No way. Eh, actually, to be totally honest, that makes sense. Honestly, the, the music for the alert is, is kind of funny. What? Okay, I'll remember that. Alright, let's just do these top three. Alright, so the gear needs to move. So it's right here. There, there. Wait, really? Alright, well, so gear's in the middle. So it has to be this, this, that. Okay. Right. Good to know. Alright, so I got the... Okay, so I got the location, which is good. Obviously, okay, I can't get anything there, but um, okay, I will go do that mission later. I'm curious, can I fast travel out of here? Nope, of course not.
All right, come on, let's just make our way out the way we came. No, no, whoa, that was bad. Can I get back up there? Can I, can I get my grapple up there? I don't think so. Do I have to go up that way? Honestly, that's one way to get out of here. I know you. My mistake. Lost. Pretty sure I still got the data, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. I'll just remember that. Honestly, that's an easier way of getting out of here. Okay, let's go to the map. Pretty cool. I didn't know I could do that. Um, well, let's just get our main mission underway then. I'm guessing this is in Janta's Hope, isn't it? Okay, let's go ahead and go over there. Once we do this mission, I think uh, that third key card is on this planet, so. I'm gonna go retrieve that because I am curious. I'm genuinely curious if the vaults are uh, are worth it. I have no idea what's what's actually in there. Here's what I got. Some sort of tracking transponder. Bunch of credits, too. Keep them. Wasn't after those anyway. Huts didn't want to pay tribute. So now, instead of their little cash, this transponder will eat them straight to me. <laughs> Remind me not to get on your bad side. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm good to those I can trust. Which is why I'm going to give you a tip. A tip? Like, more money? <laughs> no. Something better. I got some friends who could help you out. Get you a better slicing kit. Rig that speeder of yours. You'll have to track them down yourself. But that should be enough to get you started. Thanks. I mean, information is more valuable than credits, right? You know, you can keep those little revelations to yourself. Talk soon, kid. Cool. How did you get in here? Okay, I'm ready for those injectors. Bring them to me and then we should be able to fly. <laughs> Finally. All right, I'm on my way. All right, I'm going to go I'm going to go do that cuz I'm right here, but Ooh, I want to do that. And then who else? Interesting. Okay, let's. I want to. I want to get to know about boosting the speeder real quick. Hey, I'm looking for someone who can rig my speeder. Trouble with the winds, huh? Is it that obvious? Zilo Rovak is the best bike modder on this side of the Hydean, but she's not keen on strangers. That's okay. Neither am I. 
She hasn't been around lately. Maybe her friends in Kadua know where she is. Kadua? Yeah, yeah, that's, uh... Just outside Mirogana. It's a wind fishing settlement. Right, wind fishing, obviously. Good to know. Okay, so there's that, and then in terms of the slicing kit. Well, actually, no, again, let's go ahead and, and do this. Got the fuel injectors here. Perfect. Let's get them installed. Sweet. And operative. That's fun. All right. Fuel injectors are good. Just give me a minute to get her ready for takeoff. This looks like it's seen better days. It flies, kinda. You got another job for me? How do you feel about crossing imps? <sighs> not good, Kate, tell her not good. I thought that's a no-no around here. That's why we pin it on the pikes. And how do I know Crimson Dawn won't burn me after I pull this off? You don't, but that's the game we play. And yeah, I play it better than most. You just have to sneak into an Imperial station and delete some data. Easy. In space? <laughs> no, she's not ready yet. I'll be fine. I was talking about her. We'll get it done. She can fly now, but the hyperdrive is still on the fritz. Oh, so I still can't jump. Guess the core worlds will have to wait. Interesting. Wait, but, but, but can I fly right now? Wreck cluster to shark. Oh, I can. All right, sorry. I, I just been really excited to do this, so I'm gonna. I'll come back for the the Pike Vault later. I really want to see what this is about. Huh. Ship looks fixed up. What was that? You're sure it'll fly, Waka? She will. She probably will. Nice. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Coordinates incoming. Hmm. Got him. Oh, this looks awesome. Take it easy on the controls, okay? Appreciate the ship. Uh, right. I, I got it. Alira, these coordinates are for the space station. First, you'll need a way in. We disabled the shipment freighter en route to the station. They were hauling Sansana. Sansana? Like, spice? Not until it's processed. Pick it up and pose as the delivery. This looks so good. Well, let's go. Do I have a turbo? Oh, interesting. Okay, I think I do, but it doesn't. It doesn't allow me to do anything with it. Now, what is that? Six point nine Red Poly Station, and then that's the world. What is that? Z or? Oh, okay, that's good to know. 
That's so cool. That looks so good too. So this is the one thing I wanted to know what it felt like. Now obviously I'll, I'll learn more as I actually get into the core worlds. Yeah, Tashara. But I did want to say this, right? Because I could tell from the previews and if, if this is how the game will play in terms of handling the, you know, the planetary, you know, go in space, going out. This is, this mechanically is what I wish Starfield was like. And I, I wanted to expand on that. So do, do you guys know what I mean? Like, this is what I was excited to test about with this game because I really wish Starfield handled, it's subtle, but I really wish they handled their, uh, again, their inner plant. Wait, what is this? Sorry, I'm getting distracted as I'm doing all this. Fuel station, cool. Um, I really wish this is how they handled their, their in entering and leaving planets, right? Because in Starfield, it's just a loading screen. So you really, I mean, don't ever, f yeah, the moments, you know, between space travel, but you don't, there's really no purpose for it. You know what I mean? Like, and that was one of my big disappointments with Starfield is it would just be a loading screen and, and fast travel. Now this mechanically is the same, right? It's, if you drew it on paper, it's the same thing. It's a loading screen per se, but it's the presentation Thank that's the different, right? Instead that. of worry, it being a literal loading screen, you watch your ship and you're with your ship oh, going right. in or landing or leaving and landing. And that makes all the difference. In my opinion, that makes all the difference in terms of the feel and like, for, so just, just that takeoff sequence, right? If they're all like that and the landing sequences are like that, like the, for me, again, that's what would, would have made Starfield feel so much better. Again, mechanically, it's the same thing. It's a loading screen, but you stay in it. Um, and yeah, anyway, sorry. A little, little bit of a mini rant there, but it is it is one of the main reasons I did want to play this game, despite all its faults, is because that's, again, that, that's just how I wish Starfield was. What the? Raiders, just what we needed. Don't let them hit. Welka, I know. We have to fight. I can't get the cargo if they're firing on us. Just protect the trailblazer. Ah, uh, good. I'm sorry. Gotcha. A lucky day. Two ships to gut. More of them? Oh, come on. We were stealing this first. Back here. Gotcha. Wow. This thing can move. Right? Now, let's get the rest of that cargo. There. Got it. Perfect. We now have said Santa aboard. I'll, um, put the space station coordinates in. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Alright, so I gotta go to the fuel station now. It's over here. Wait, is there something else I can retrieve? What's over what is that? Friend Polly station. I bet I can once I can jump, or maybe there's a way I can move faster. Hold on. Let me get directed back over here. Alright. Oh now I can. Okay, there we go. There's turbo. What we're breaking into? Yeah. Just don't do anything suspicious. You know what? I'm gonna disable the ship's weapons, just in case. Records. Wipe the data. Frame the pikes. 
Crimson Dawn comes out on top. Dude, I'm really uh, pissing off the I pipes. Why do I feel like Lyra's <laughs> using us? Because it's Crimson Dawn. She is. Oh, here we go. Let's see what this is about. Okay, boxes of Sansana. We've got... Hey, okay, this is a lot. You know it's not too late to just hand over the cargo and get out of here. No, I need parts to fix my ship, and this is how I get them. We're doing this. We have to. So you want me to just... What? Distract the imps while you find the data vault? Oh, great idea, Waka. I'll sneak out in the cargo elevator. All right. Open up. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. Um, how do I get out of here? Well, that's one way to do it. <laughs> nice. No, 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 yes. Nix, come back. I hear you have a sense of the station. Good cover. You know, there's a reason they should succeed when others. Hey, you see this? That's reinforced during the I love it. Blaster fire, no one even notices. Yes. Now about the shipment. You don't know that I'm here. You don't even know who I am. That's what I want to do anyway, this is much better. Aww, come on, let me go through it. See, that's the other thing about this game, man. Like, the, the forced uh, stealth, I guess, if you want to put it that way. Sensitive shipment for this station. 
You know, there's a reason this ship succeeds when others fail. You see this? That's reinforced Durasteel plating. And the deflector shields? They're well made because, uh, they deflect. <laughs> no way. Man, I really wish I, I need to see if there's a mod available at some point for this game that you could get rid of that. Like, that is, I really would just like to grab a blaster and go. Yeah, that's hilarious. Now about the shipment. Here, it's easier to show you. Come inside. Check out the laser cannons. That's a Dimec LC-50. The governor's a busy man. You know the price for a Russian certification. <laughs> what? All these weird interactions. I do like the art style, though. They really nailed it with, the, obviously, everything in here. Interesting. Oh, I guess I can't interact with that. There's in the ventilation channel. Is there anything he can interact with in here? Obviously, there's another vent I need to get into. It's on that side, though. That's kind of weird. Obviously, it makes it. This is strange. What am I supposed to do here? What the? Okay, well, that was weird. Oh, 
All right, Nix. Go, go. <laughs> That's our terminal. Because we can't have pikes just wandering down, around Nix. this station. Wait, another data pad? What does it say? What the? Wrong one, and I'm getting shot. That's good. but that works. Oh, that's that's red. What is that about? Interesting. What are you doing? You've alerted the station. Wait, what? Oh, it's because the camera saw me. I didn't even bother to look and see if there was a camera there. Hey, buddy, hit that button. What are you doing? You've alerted the station. 
Oh, that's what alerts the station, is actually <laughs> doing that to the camera. Oops. Alright, one more time. Alright, you know what? I haven't used a grenade yet, and I really want to, so... Now, I did take out the other camera. Is it because of the ion thing? It is. That makes sense. Hmm. The floor plan said the data vault's here somewhere. Oh, well, I we guess I'm going down. Whoa. I need to go, I need to go, I need to go, come on. No, I didn't even realize there was a camera there. That's unfortunate. Oh, man. Well, I was hoping to get through this level. I'll have to do it uh, separately. I'm actually going to have to end the video here just because I am quite literally, I'm literally running out of battery on my camera. Um, again, still enjoying the game. I just really do wish that, and again, obviously a few mechanics that other people have talked about, like, um, you know, I, I shared my appreciation for how it handles the launch and landing sequence, but I got to say, like, this fail mission thing on stealth is already frustrating because because again i enjoy the combat in this game i would rather just engage with it um but anyways that's fine again we'll obviously continue doing videos here um let me know in the comments what you guys think though especially if you have played through and, and again what your thoughts are in the game uh and yeah i appreciate y'all for watching please don't hit that like button and subscribe and i'll talk to you later